If you're foam rolling, it's not necessarily a bad thing. If you're only foam rolling and not following up with anything else. What's up? Kimiko Hayako desu. So, today, I'm going to talk about the Kimiko release. 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 In this industry, things come and go, specifically tools come and go.、Um, I want to talk a little bit today about the foam roller.、Um, it's one of those tools that, as with many other tools, it's all the rage at some point, and then everyone starts dropping it or、um, criticizing it and, and saying that it's no longer good. Foam rolling, as you know, has been around for a while, and people have been foam rolling, and, and it's, been, it's been great, it's been useful, and then, and then more recently, It's become a little bit more debatable. And people are coming up with well, there's no scientific evidence that you're actually、um, breaking up adhesions, that you're actually、um, breaking up fascia, that you actually have enough pressure. The real question is why are you really foam rolling? And, th and that's the question you need to ask yourself with any tool. Why am I using it? No tool is inherently bad. It's about using it at the right time, right? I really personally hate to categorize stuff as. Always useful or useless or good or bad. Meaning, any tool can be good at some point, any tool could be bad at one point if you're using it at the wrong time. So, it's all about what, what's the context, what's the opportunity, what's the why. With foam rolling, I think that if you're foam rolling to create space, if you're foam rolling because it feels good and after you foam roll, you feel like you can move. Then use it. I mean, that's perfect. That's really what you want to do. In the movement optimization course, we talk about、um, mobilization, activation, and integration sequences for、um, optimizing movement. And in the mobilization sequence, the objective is to create space. And how you create space, I mean, that's going to be personal. That has a lot to do with your perception of feeling that you can move better, appreciating. How you can move. And if foam rolling for 10 or 15 minutes helps you get that feeling that you've created space, then that's absolutely fine. The only problem is if you're just foam rolling and thinking that that alone will increase your mobility. If you foam roll and you create space, you need to then do something with that space. So, again, if you're foam rolling, it's not necessarily a bad thing. If you're only foam rolling and not following up with anything else, or foam rolling day in and day out, With no rhyme or reason, then that may be a problem. It's everything in moderation, right? In French, we have a, an expression that says, trop c'est comme pas assez, which basically translates to too much is like not enough. So in English, typically we say everything in moderation, right? So use a little bit of foam rolling for a specific means, but don't just use that and think that it's gonna, it's gonna do everything. No tool is the means to all ends, right? So, いかがでしたでしょうか目的を持ってツールを選ぶやりすぎは良くないまとめるとこんな感じでしょうかとはいえ目的は持っているんだけど何を選べばいいのかがわからない人は多いと思いますそれについては一度自分の目的に合ったことをしているトレーナーや治療家など専門家のところに行くべきかなと思います当たり前のことに聞こえると思うんですが痛みからの改善であれば治療家の方がいいだろうし筋肥大トレーニングのための可動域改善であればそれが得意なトレーナーのもとに行くべきだと思いますなかなかそういった自分に合ったいいトレーナーは見つけるのが難しいと思うんですが Twitter や Instagram などで発信をしている人から探すのがおすすめですトレーナー選びもツール選びと同じですねでかい人は素晴らしくモチベーションもくれると思うんですがそれだけでなく自分の状況と合ったトレーナー選びができるといいですねみんなはどんな基準でトレーナーを選びますかコメント欄で教えてください僕が受ける立場の時は他の人が持っていない情報を持っていたりキューイングなど自分のイメージにある言葉の使い方ができる人を選びます最後まで見ていただいてありがとうございます感想や動画のリクエストチャンネル登録お待ちしてますではまた Don't hesitate to call me back. Cause I'm wrong.